Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Knowing that my videos are helping you bring forth information you might not have been aware of. You know, you contributing your opinions about the, the videos that I put out, which I greatly appreciate. You drop in lines to let me know that my videos are helping you as well as they're helping me so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way also if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also um if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your empathic gift and how it's heading you towards a positive direction also if the videos gave you good vibe or vibes or good information that you would love to share with somebody who truly needs to hear it at the time please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for stopping by my channel showing so much love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video mm. today my um my meditation song uh well meditation video i'm listening to today is 30 minutes of meditation music for positive energy inner peace music healing music relaxing mind and body you know we all should meditate for at least about 10 or 15 minutes out of the day the most is like 30 to 45 minutes if you can you know whatever time you have time for but you know it's always good to go ahead and clear that clear your mind and just bring that positive flow into your life um today my video is about twin flame 101 healing through your twin flame relationship you know is it's, we have so much you know we're trying to get through you know we're going through trying times at now and some of us you know they got blessings that are coming away you know which is very very beautiful um and it's just like going through this since i had my spiritual union has been i mean I, I, I mean words can't express how happy i am how positive it has made me you know if you've been with me for a while you probably even noticed my energy has changed a lot drastically but in a positive way because it's like, you know, we spend so much of our time being miserable and depressed about things. Because as this impasse, we, you know, we've really gone through, especially us as Hayokas, we go, <laughs> we go through things and we go through it on the hardest way. And we're all, you know, and there's some of my friends, you know, we go through it. I'm just like, you know, we some true Hayokas because we go to rock bottom, to go investigate, be very anal about the things we're going through try to figure out why we're going through it the reason why i brought towards our way in the first place i mean that's just doing a lot but when we're already dealing with the other half of ourselves you know the soul is splits into two two different people you know it's always a blessing when you can show support towards your, your twin put try to put tw peace and understanding between your twin knowing if you're healing you know hopefully they're healing at the same time but if not you have to be concentrating on you you know there's a reason why you're going through the things you do maybe you don't but if you're trying to put forth that positivity and know that you're trying to heal in the best way possible send towards good vibes blessing vibe you know any kind of positive vibes towards your twin hoping and praying they're doing the same thing because it was just like my dad I always used to seek solace with him, you know, seek peace through him. And I, I wasn't going through it and seeking it for myself. And it's just like I couldn't constantly keep relying on him for me to get that peace. You know, I couldn't keep relying on him to make me happy. Even though he made me happy, I had to be able to do that within myself. You know, sometimes we go through the things that, you know, our, our us and our TFs, you know, we bump heads at times because you know they're opposite of us or um you know whatever they lack of they gain and you know vice versa but knowing through this time it's like everybody's working on you know what they need to be working on some of them are not but it's just like if you're in that relationship with your tf and you know you're struggling through times better days are coming you know if you're trying to seek peace between you two uh get some kind of understanding 
between going through it, you know better days are coming. You know, if you're working towards your physical union, you know, if you keep doing the positive things that you're doing, learning to heal from the things that have hurt you or hindered you or left you stagnant, because there's sometimes we can get stagnant and we feel like, oh, we're never going to get out of this. You know, there's times I look at my situation, I say, oh, Lord, I'm just so tired of dealing with this. But I'll, I'm not going to concentrate on the situation I'm in. I'm just going to concentrate on how to get myself out of that situation. Because the more I concentrate on the situation I'm in, that brings me down. You know, sometimes that can you that can give you energy enough to say, you know what? The things I'm going through is going to push me towards doing something positive so I don't have to stay up in this situation I'm in. That's how you have to think about it. And it's just like... If you have that, if you're blessed to have that twin that, you know, encourages you, you don't know, want you to be happy. You know, sometimes we, we're not blessed with all those things, you know, um, when you're trying to figure out if you have a twin flame, you're wondering how your twin flame is doing, you know, hoping they will heal from everything that they can heal from as well as you're doing the same for yourself. And going through that situation, it was like mine, my dad's very encouraging very positive he always wants me to be happy you know and it, it's just like it's a blessing to be able to have that because it was like so long I thought that you know I was going crazy why do I constantly hear this man talking in my head nobody else hears it but me but then it, it was just like he always wanted me to be happy knowing he didn't never know what was going on but you know universe allowed him to see what he could see you know because it can mess things up when they know more than they should know because that gives you time to go ahead and work on yourself is you is the other twin works on yourself as well healing so you can get towards that positive union or if you're in that union to be able to do things to make your you know your relationship better wherever you're trying to go towards with your relationship you know it doesn't have to be a, a man, romantic relationship it can be like a best friend or a sisterhood brotherhood whatever you want to call it um twin flame relationship but just knowing that you're able to push positivity towards that situation to make it a better you know partnership that you have with your twin flame is truly a blessing and just to learn from your mistakes learn from the things that have hurt you learn from the things that you have probably pushed out yourself you know when you can be able to set fault and say you know what I guess I did this but it takes a bigger person to be able to admit hey you know I did this wrong well let me go ahead and redo this you know because you don't want to have to keep relying on your twin for things that positive change to come on yourself you have to be able to work on that yourself because if not you're not going to be able to get into that union that you possibly positively need to be in you know especially if it's something that's romantic or non-romantic you know their their twin flame is always supposed to be there to help you want to better yourself you know there are sometimes you know i hear even in the twin flame community on the group chats that i see you know they say oh you know sometimes my my um my my tf is uh narcissistic or sometimes they disappear you know we got that push and pull thing that goes on you know sometimes you got the runner then you got the chaser well I mean, sometimes because there's always a runner and there's a chaser you know i was the runner you know anytime i felt my dad it was just a weird energy it was very very strong but you know he always used to ask me why are you so scared of me and i still do that i'm like Ugh. you know it's just the energy is just so so powerful that you know i really wasn't understanding why it was like that but it's like meeting your other half is really scary so being able to heal heal through that knowing you know it took me to have to go through all this hell just to be going through a spiritual union i never knew there was a spiritual union i just know that there was a union and there's a reunion but i didn't know all the stuff in between but it's just a blessing when my i can look through a fresh pair of eyes and say you know what i went through this for a reason but it's bringing out a positive change a positive outcome in, into me i'm learning more about loving myself when i didn't love myself you know, there was parts of me I loved and things that I wasn't satisfied with. That's fine to not be satisfied with certain things. As long as you're trying to bring a positive change, not to sit there and complain about it. But you're like, okay, my twin flame loves this about me, but I'm all right with it. But if you're trying to make yourself comfortable, like with me, um, I'm not comfortable with my weight. Okay, that's fine. 
you know, even though my dad loves everything about me, and he's just, oh, you're beautiful, you know, you're perfectly flawed, whatever, beautifully flawed, whatever, but if I know I'm not comfortable in that situation, I'm improving myself to make myself love every aspect of myself. I love myself, but I would love myself more when I can be comfortable with seeing with that, what I'm seeing. So it's just like not putting myself down, but loving myself, but improving myself at the same time. So there's nothing wrong with that. You know, as long as you know you're pushing out positivity, you're trying to heal towards things that has hurt you or heal towards things that you know you don't really look at in the same light as your twin flame does. But it's truly a blessing when you can be able to have that support system around yourself, even that energy, even when they can't physically be around you. They're sending that, met, you know, metaphysical vibe towards your way. Better days are coming. You know, I'm here for you. But you're here for yourself as well as you're sending that vibration towards them. You know, we got the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And we're helping each other count, you know, the counterparts. So to be able to do that is truly a blessing. So, you know, good luck on anybody who's having the twin flame issues or, you know, a twin flame relationship. You're trying to heal towards everything in, you know, in that realm, you know, because we're going through some major changes right now. And it can be kind of annoying and scary. It can bring up stress in between that relationship uh, can be a conflict. So, you know, try to work on yourselves, better yourselves in a positive way. You know, improve on things that, you know, you fall short on and better days are coming. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love and blessings towards all, all around. Send out as much love, positivity as you possibly can as I do the same. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing better days are coming out your coming towards your way. And um let me see. Uh who am I gonna give a shout out to? Um uh Katie Strat, Ziggy Moon, and Jackie Flores. Uh Torres, I'm sorry. Much love to you, many blessings, and hope everybody has a blessed day, safe week, productive week. And like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, share, hit the notification button, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace. And be wild.